Hello and thank you for joining us on the discussion. This is Let's Talk Love, where we have discussions of love and family with Professor Haman Manyora. And today we are talking about love as usual, but in a context that has been going around throughout the week. Because this week, Prof, there's a politician who has hit the headlines because she, she, how do you say it? Her lover, her fiance proposed to her in a very public, in a very pompous manner. And it, it got me thinking. When it comes to putting your love out there, bro, say you are a person who was uh, in public service, say you were in celebrity, or one of the spouses is someone who has some level of visibility that's above the other, and you decide that you're going public with that relationship, or you have that what you call public display of affection, we have seen that often when people go out with uh, this lovey-dovey thing, eventually people follow their relationship and if things don't work out, that also happens in the public eye. Is it wise to, to tell people who you love, to post your lover's pictures, to post your picnic days? Is it, is it the language of love or is it something that is misled that is going to blow in someone's face? The whether a politician or a cele celebrity, whoever, yes. they are still human beings. They are. They can do their things just like other human beings. Is it wise though? And whether to 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 display your private life in public, private love life, uh, whichever, yeah, uh, or not, it's not just a question of you, who you are in terms of celebrity or public figure. It's just a human, the decision to be made. However, I would want to agree with you that uh, when you are a leader, you must be a little more cautious. Don't throw yourself outside there. No. Uh, be a little, a little cautious in how you do your things. I would advise public figures not to share their private life mm -hmm. out there. Yeah, to, to the extent possible. Uh, so, I, I think you, you referred this lady, Linet Toto. Yeah, who I so that thing I've seen. <laughs> the young senator. A man in some hat like this. You've seen it, huh? Well, they are young people. <laughs> Very Shakespeare. Love brood in whatever. So let them enjoy their time. Their time. But come on, Prof. It's. it's well, well, only, only I would say is that uh, once you choose to enter public life, mm. you must first of all know that. That life is no longer yours alone. You share it with the public. Your life. Yeah, and uh, you must be an inspiration. Uh, so if, certain, if there are certain things you, you, you shouldn't do, please avoid them. You are just not another woman or another girl outside there. You are a leader. Uh, and quite often, again, in the interest of these young politicians, the things you do now, would be the same thing that will deny you re-election come 2027. So you also, if you need your power, you need your you need re-election again. Be careful about the things you do. So this this love drama could cost, like say, total uh, political ambitions. And, 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 and this dramatizing of things. And, and, and I've told Kenyans because this was very dramatized. I've told Kenyans. And, and Moi put it very well. He did. President Moi said, when Kenyan or African girls see white girls half dressed uh -huh. you know with this uh, sleeve you know, what do you call them yeah sleeveless yeah sleeveless and, uh, uh, topless sleeve dresses you know, the top reaching here yeah. them they go naked Crop tops. Them, they, that's what Moy <laughs> said them they now go naked when you see somebody with high heels uh. now you wear them and you are coming from dandora walk <laughs> getting to the stage alone is two kilometers <laughs> what you do not know uh. is that these high heels are one on stage. Somebody is making his, their money. That's why they are wearing them. They're performing. But the moment they go backstage, they throw them away and somebody's getting out of her car mm. with those high heels. On stilts like a circus yeah. player. <laughs> Walk into the office. What you do not know she has just put on before she left the car. She wasn't driving in them. No, it's, it's late. And as soon on. as she gets to the office, mm. this was for the for sure. eyes. She removes them, throws them away, and puts on comfortable. She, she has another pair in the bag. But now, a stupid African girl will wear them from morning to evening. <laughs> Boots. It is as hot as now. It's a fashion. So even this thing of men kneeling for women, mm. sometimes not quite African, eh? 
Will you marry me? No, that's rubbish. I don't think. But it's romantic. It's not romantic. It's foolish. Most so if you do it, where I think it is foolish, not romantic. It's foolish. It is. It's, it is. It is. It is not. It lacks context. We we'll explain further. It looks cheap, epping. You know, trying to copy things that uh, a time will come. But uh, an, uh, an African man, why would you kneel for a, a woman? I mean, you just mm. love your woman and let her love you. You don't need to show foolish things and about. Now I see even men kneeling for other men. Yeah. And you know, you've seen it, eh? It, it happens so a lot. Coming together. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you look. Actually, let me let me tell. I've seen the pictures. If you are just an ordinary boy from Boroboro uh, and you go and kneel for a girl, you look very stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Why, bro? Ah, Guys are trying to be romantic. To Which be romantic? That's yeah. stupid. Take our place in the 21st. Love your, you love your woman. Mm. Don't, don't kneel for her. Love her. You know, mm. really. Even men seeing you do that, they'll think you're just foolish. But you know, that's just something. That's just a tip of the iceberg. Mm. Because another trend is, uh, they're called uh, uh, baby showers. It's not really a baby shower party, it's where the guy, if you have a girl or your wife is pregnant, you both go, you're both half naked and you're taking pictures and the belly is out, the man is kneeling to listen to the baby. You know, a lot of men are doing this, are even celebrities. Those are foolish things. You know, is it okay? You see now, let me tell you, it is what is part of what is making our relationship so artificial, so hollow, so shelly. Because the moment you, pl you place unnecessary premium on the outward and jesus said it the pharisees and these jews they were more concerned with what was outside the cup than inside you are taking tea from a very dirty cup but outside you are bothered it is very clean the moment you are you are preoccupied with what you are showing the world you have no time to fill the cup and to clean it and put something there so these relationships are artificial ab initial from the word go mm. they are artificial they are a flat. They are they, so the, it does not surprise. It shouldn't surprise you when they break after a year, because they are never founded on anything. We see people doing things in America. We want to do them here, without context. You we, say we don't even have space for love. We don't even have space for family. Do you know these days, a young man and a young girl decide to get married instead of letting the family enjoy a marriage, that's a wedding by planning it, even if they are the ones financing it. They take it to some place where it's invites only. Some Eight far away. gates. Eight. Far away garden. The parents from both sides are just spectators. Yeah. They are just, they will only fa feature in pictures. In, 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 in the church when you're handing over your daughter. Mm. Before that, this so-called rush, another stupid thing, they come with big cars and they come with outside catering. You was asking Munangalia too. You, you know, an opportunity for the village even to rejoice, for the parents to rejoice, because it's a great moment to bring a girl who brings a young man home for your blessings. It's not something to be taken lightly. It's something to enjoy and celebrate with your relatives. And even presents. Don't bring. Live in this carrefour or whatever supermarket. Yeah. And don't buy this. If you must buy a present, can only buy this. You leave it there, come with a voucher. Yani muna jifanya na indio inafanya because it, 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 from the word go, you start with an empty marriage. Where the it's cup so, is clean it outside. Is, it's so artificial. It is so showy. It's for show. It is for show. It's not real. So even if there was some love, it is lost in this showmanship. And sure enough, the show a year ends. down the line, two years. The curtains fall. The curtains okay. fall on the show. It's empty. I will urge people, don't copy things foolishly. Don't try to ep what other people are doing by kneeling for women. And monkey see, monkey do. And there you remove your wedding from your people. Mm. You go and put it in some funny place. There's a place in Arunda. There's another one in Karen here which I not mention. You know, where only a few people go and, you know. And, they, you know. and it's expensive and loans have been taken. Forget about it. You know. Make it real. Make, Make it real. Your, your relationship real. Your marriage real. Let people enjoy. And you don't need to show anybody. Don't don't parade yourself there kneeling for a woman. And let a woman, if you're an African woman, don't let a man kneel for you. He's bad.
it's an African. It's, it's an African. It's not good. It's Why the wrong picture. You are not good. And even for religious people, it's sacrilegious to kneel for somebody. Yes. I think Christians kneel for, for before God. Yeah, it's sacrilegious they don't kneel to do before that. man. You know? You get it? Right, I get it. Yeah. So, and if you are a public figure, people associate certain seriousness, expect certain level of seriousness. Even Article 10 of the Constitution, you must conduct yourself in a manner that does not bring disrespect and disrespect to that office. Article 10 of the Constitution. Always in your actions, public or private, don't act in a manner that brings disrespect mm. to that office you occupy. So, like Totoshi is a public figure. And I was talking to MPs, Jews, senators, I think. I told them, right. you know you must know this. If you are a member of parliament, whether senator or not, you are among the top 1,000 people. And even the 1,000 I'm blowing off is so far. But let's just say, if you count people who will influence this country for 200 years to come, you're among them. You're among the 1,000. That is not a small... You know, these MPs don't even know. In a country of 50 million. In a country of 50 million, God has given you an opportunity to be among the top 1,000 people in the country. No easy feat, that one. It's a blessing from God. It's an honor from the people of Kenya to make you one of the 1,000, just 1,000. Moja mbili mpaka elf moja. They are deciding the future of this country. A point zero 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 one. And I can assure you 99.99% 99 .99 of the MPs don't know that. They have no idea. They have no idea that what this country will be 200 years, 100 years from now, 50 years from now, is being decided, decided in that parliament. By how they carry themselves? Yes. The laws they make, the temptations they resist, the bribes they refuse, the or take. The pictures they post. The pictures they post will help. Because there is a person in Bomet who holds the lady in such a high esteem. Who voted for her. Who to voted vote. for her. Next year he will not vote. Next time. And, now because now she and his to failing to vote will affect this country. I see. Because his, his vote and that of the other and the other and the other who have refused to vote because of this conduct will mean a more useless person will go to parliament. A domino effect. You, you get it? Mm -hmm. So my advice to members of parliament, please, sit down and tell me if they are looking for the top 1,000 leaders. Some countries have what they call a role of honor. And in fact, it's a word they have forgotten. So you'll see the president is there, so and so. They move to army generals, army commanders, what the chief of defense, the vice chancellors, the, those, the big people in the country. Surely, those ones cannot even get to 200. Then you add MPs. You have not reached 1,000. It's still not 1,000. Yeah. Top scientists, top athletes, the top people. If we are putting down... 1,000 names of people on a list on which Manyora will be number maybe 1 million huko. <laughs> you are in 1,000 and you don't know it. It's a, it's, it's a tragedy. You don't act the part. You don't no, know the part. It's a tragedy. It's a tragedy. Show right. your love to your, to your boyfriend, mm -hmm. to your girl. Do it less as a show off. That way it will last. Try to show if when there are no longer people to cheer you and the two of you are in the house, you'll begin to fight. Because there's no show. Yeah. No one to show. There's there no, no audience cameras. for you. For there are no show. cameras. No cameras. How do you invite cameras to capture your love, affection for each other? That is not love. That is showmanship. All right, Prof. Let's end it there. Folks, there's nothing we can add to a discussion like that. There's nothing we can really say because it's all been said. Love is what it is. You cannot fake it. You cannot wash the cup on the outside and leave it dirty on the inside. Thank you for joining us. And I hope you join us again for another insightful discussion on love here on Let's Talk Love. See you next time.